Hi guys, I'm going to do a think aloud for you where I answer the five questions from the Center for Media Literacy. It's the same five questions that you've downloaded in your lesson for this week. And I'm going to answer those questions on a famous historical photograph. Uh, th this is when Nixon went to China in 1972. So I will be answering these five questions based on this image. Now when you do your um, analysis in Flipgrid, you're going to be able to choose any photograph you want to choose. So you can use something from the newspaper, you can use something from a popular magazine, uh, anything that you want to use. You don't have to use a historical photograph, but I'm going to use one uh, to illustrate and to think aloud how I go through the five questions. So let's get started. First of all, who created this message? We think that this particular photograph was um, taken by the American media who did accompany Nixon on the trip to China in 1972 because you see that they put the focus on Nixon rather than on uh, President Zhao Anlai. So we think this particular photograph was done by the American media. What creative techniques are used to attract my attention? I don't think there are any creative techniques per se. I think the main technique was that they zoomed in so that we got to see Nixon's face and it, it increased the humanity of the image. How might different people understand the message differently? I think this is pretty obvious because we've got American and Chinese culture. Here, um, from a Chinese perspective, you immediately see that the table is, uh, has Chinese food, we have chopsticks, and you see that they are doing a toast in the traditional Chinese style where you have the small glasses and you do a toast and you also say gambe. So I think that that would also be analyzed from a Chinese perspective. What values, lifestyles, and points of view are represented in or omitted from this message? I think the main part about this photograph, the analysis of it, sort of the visual literacy part, is that there's been a lot made of this photograph. For one thing, Nixon doesn't look particularly strong. He's not making eye contact with the president, but the president, the Chinese president, is making eye contact. He also has kind of a weak, limp wrist, which a lot of people have made, um, uh, made a lot out of. So he doesn't look particularly presidential, and he doesn't look strong. And then finally, why is this message being sent? From Nixon's point of view, he was going to China for the first time, first time an American president had been to China. He wanted to make a big deal about it, and there was a lot of media attention to it to try to make him look strong. But interestingly, with this particular photograph, he doesn't look that presidential, mainly because of the way he's doing the toast and the fact that he's not making eye contact. Okay, that is my very quick analysis of this particular image. So on Flipgrid, you're going to be choosing your own photograph um, or image from um, a magazine or a newspaper, and you're gonna do your analysis and you'll have exactly 90 seconds to make your way through these five questions from the Center for Media Literacy. Have fun.